I'm not sure how much longer our outpost can hold on. We don't have much. I've already got you in my sight.
False alarm, everyone. Ugh. Thank God. I figured if I talked myself hoarse on the comms, the cavalry would come. I was expecting some free star militia, but any port in a storm, I guess. You and me both. Before spacers broke into the outpost, I was relaying orders for Lieutenant Torres. Torres ain't bad as far as COs go, but we'd have been flat out murdered if it weren't for the... And I can't believe I'm saying this, the UC Marines. So, and this is important. You see a Marine, don't shoot. They're friendlies. No arguments here. So first things first, the makeshift infirmary isn't gonna hold. They set up on the ground floor in the security section. The whole place is on lockdown, so you'll have to find a way there. Talk to, um, uh, Lazama. He's the only thing between them and... Well, you get the picture. You are something else. Be safe, be bold. A dead soldier ain't no help to no one.
This is it. Corporal Lizama. You see Marines, medic. We thought we were done for. I'm... I'm... Oh. And meet the esteemed doctor. Musa, right? It's his party we're crashing. Mahoney's a machine. She's wasted on this rock. And this... Uh, what the heck are you guys doing here, anyway? Doctor. Doctor! Yes. I mean, yes. Astrobiology. We study non-Terran life forms in the settled systems. We, uh, seek to understand the various flora and fauna and search for practical uses. We're trying to show that science can advance the quality of human life, not just further our destructive capabilities. Listen, we can't waste time. The Free Star CEO, Lieutenant Torres, he locked down the complex. I'm not sure how long he can keep his troops safe. Last I saw Torres was on the third floor, near my office. Take this key and get to Torres. It should open everything except the security doors. Get to Torres before his men are wiped out. Good luck. You think he's a spacer? He's the one that cleared him out. Where do you keep all that stuff, boss? Leaving me with no choice!
lost so many people. Are they all gone? Thanks to the stranger, every last one of them is down. Some fancy work there. How many more are there with your unit? You got sniper support or something? Wait, you're serious? You did all of that? We have to help Captain Myung. She's behind the barrier door. But she's not Freestar, Lieutenant. Our first priority is our men and our scientists. She came in to save us, Sergeant, when no one else would. I will not leave her out to dry. She's... something else. But, Lieutenant, they're the UC. We can't... Sergeant, I am ordering you to help us save those Marines. But how? We got a security override key. If the Marines are still alive, they'll be by the other entrance. We all work together. We should be able to save them. Or die trying. They are soldiers that need us. Are you... up for it? We could really use your help. Done. I'll make sure we scan. Here's the security key. be pinned down if it weren't for them. Huh. You don't got the look of a Marine. Certainly not the militia. Who are you? What, the explorers? I didn't know you guys packed such a punch. Captain Myung, UC Marines. Veteran of the Colony Wars, the shield of Paduk Pass. Best damn Marine in the service. <laughs> and that loudmouth is Private Sai. If she wasn't such a hell of a soldier, she'd be polishing latrines for the next decade. You've saved lives here, and that is something I won't forget. The Captain and all her Marines? Well, we'd all be dead if it weren't for them. You lot may be Freestar, but to ground pounders first. I wasn't about to let you all die ignobly to those rabid spacer bastards. You've got spirit. That's what we need right now. We've bought ourselves an old-fashioned stay of execution here, but it won't last long. The bastards are disorganized, undisciplined rabble. But they got spaceships and we don't. That means they can keep dropping reinforcements until they greatly outnumber us. Then the cowards will hit us. Hard. Which means they won't drop the reinforcements right on top of us anymore. But there's too many of them, and only one of you. No, we need a plan. I have a more immediate problem, Captain. I have troops and civilians in the field. If we don't act, the spacers could take them out. I can't abandon them. Damn it. What sort of leader would you be if you did? But we need every trained soldier to fortify and get the defenses back online. Mahoney said their last transmission indicated they were in trouble. If you could perhaps take your ship to the research camp and clear out any spaces. 
They went dark not too long ago. Just go quickly and safely. Glad to know us Marines aren't the only ones crashing this party. have any orders, I'm ready to receive. Marching orders, fool orders, tall orders. Touchdown imminent.
be safe now. Get back to the lieutenant. Tell Corporal Mahoney radioed you were coming, but I didn't know if we could hold out. Not all of us made it. But you're a regular hero. <laughs> I don't doubt it for a second. Mahoney said for us to go to ground. There's a cave nearby we're going to hole up in until this is all over. Don't worry, I'll keep the civvy safe from here. Mahoney said the research camp is all clear. I... I don't know where we'd be without you. Most likely decomposing in some unmarked grave. Good on you both for making that mission of mercy a priority. Our job is to protect the civvies and never leave a soldier behind. There ain't much room for honor in this damn business, so we have to hold on to what we can. Captain. You should bring up your plan. I... I believe it's a good one. The Spacers haven't attacked yet, but they've been shuttling men down beyond the ridge. We cannot let them keep reinforcing, otherwise they'll overwhelm us. So we need to take out their ships. <laughs> the only rest a Marine gets is in the grave. I concur with the Captain. We can't hold out if we don't cut off their manpower. The Spacers have two fighter groups. If you take those out, the enemies will be stranded. So, launch that fancy ship of yours and get to work. Do you think the documentary about your life will be made into a movie? And who do you think will play... me? And...
This might be a good place to relax for a bit. Whatever you did up there has lit a fire under their asses. Get back! Pronto! We need you! Everyone, move up! <laughs> oh, get me, though! That's the price of our is. Every decision leads to blood. You can, you can drive yourself crazy with counterfactuals. Focus on the good you did. We, we did. Here, here. Well, well said. Test is safe to visit you. Both of you. I, I almost want to write back for three stars and give you your medal. Uh, well, wouldn't that be the damnedest thing? thing. I put, I put it, it on, on right next to my narrow star. It's a say a court martial if it gives me any thanks. But my view you want your medal, though. It's, it's certainly earned. earned. A, a medal isn't something, something I can fight on my own. But I, I, I do have the extra to disagree upon. Well, I learned. And kept at it. But I will never forget you. Though you're young, young you've got a future, future ahead of you. A bit, a bit of advice. I've, I've been passed up for a more time, time than I can count, 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 because I've always stuck by my principles. There's a million ways, ways that are to come out of the to compromise. Little ways, little ways big, big ways. Don't. Don't. It may hurt your career. I will have that pride in my services. Especially today. You see? I see you see, 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 you see
I'll do my duty. Not if I do my duty first. <laughs> Soldiers, it's time to get out of the guards out here. 